Do you smoke? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. Well, if you smoke, then maybe you should think twice about changing your job. Because you haul the trucking company implemented a rule in early January 2020 that everybody who is applying for a new job needs to, first of all, affirm that they are a non-smoker or not using nicotine products in any way. This includes vapes, electronic cigarettes, as well as traditional cigarettes, chewing tobacco, and you name it. And also, they need to consent about being tested as a part of the company-wide random drug testing, which will now include nicotine testing as well. This policy will become effective on February 1, 2020. So what does it mean for you if you work in other companies? For now, you are still safe. Is this a new trend? In a certain way, yes. In another way, not really. Alaska Airlines, as well I understand, the first company out who as early as 1985 implemented a no smoking, no nicotine rule. The main reasons for those policies, which are also used by different other companies, are to enhance employees' health, as well as to enhance productivity, because many areas which do have nicotine-free work zones would then require an unusual amount of break times for everybody to use their nicotine products. Is it enforceable? Most likely yes. Why U-Haul started doing this in only 21 states? I don't know at this time. Maybe that the other states have stricter rules where it is not allowed. In looking what the future may bring, I could see litigation going around to check whether it would be in the interest of the company not to have nicotine used at the workplace. I can also see some discriminatory actions. At the end of the day, it's all about what the company discloses and also enforces consistently throughout its employee base. So I see less problems if companies use this new policy to enforce it against everybody. But if for any reason companies start to do some profiling, they are... <laughs>